I'm David Trogish and I want to tell a story. A long, long time ago when the world was created, God created men and women and trees and mountains and valleys. He also created music. But with all his ingenuity and his creativity and his possibilities, he could only come up with five tones. And this is the music that the angels play to this very day. But as human beings evolved, they figured out that you could place a tone between each of these five tones. They called them half tones. And with these ten tones, they could make music that was so beautiful that the angels got jealous. And they went to God and they said, you know, we have a real problem here. We got rid of sex. We don't eat. With all the Baptists here, we don't drink. The only thing we have going for us was our music. But if they can do music that is so beautiful, who will want to go to heaven? And God understood that this was a serious problem, so he took time off and went down and listened to it. And the first movement of the first symphony was already finished, and it was beautiful. But we all know that God has a little bit of a mean streak. Remember the story of Adam and Eve, and I kicked them out of paradise, or um, or the big flood in Noah, just for the people who weren't with the program, remember? And so, so God thought of two more half tones. And this is the music that we have to this very day, 12 tones. You know, with five tones, it is impossible to have a dissonance. At that time, all the pianos only had black keys, and anyone was gifted and could make music. But now, with 12 tones, all of a sudden, husbands rather would want to go out and have a beer with their friends than a cup of coffee with their spouses. And the children, especially the teenagers, they turned really, really difficult. And congregations had to start to pay their musicians. God is in the conflict. God loves dissonance. Because without dissonance, there cannot be harmony. End of the story. Amen.